Hey guys, what's going on? The life hacks here. Um, as I promised, guys, I want to show you the installation of the wireless car in this video. So let's get started without wasting time. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button for this video. Let's begin. So first thing that you want to buy this wireless USB adapter, as we need on for the virtual box, because the virtual box need this wireless adapter. If you're not gonna using this one, then you will never get the Wi-Fi access like like we are using it over here. Okay, so. You guys have uh, two choices to buy. You have the Alpha Adapter. This is a very high end and monster wi, wi Fi card. If you guys love this, you can buy this one as well. It comes with the cables as well, okay? So, and I'm using this one. It's a TP Link. Uh, I don't know what the hell it is. WM7 W2N. Okay, so both of this device, it supports the monitoring interface okay so so guys the uh, choice is yours and in my case they this one is the good for our penetration testing and also you, you guys can buy this one if you have uh, more money <laughs> okay so choice is your and after you buy this you need to install on your windows computer make sure you have installed the wireless key drivers and also you have installed it okay so after you install over your Wi-Fi on your Windows then be sure to come here and I want to show you here so as you guys can see that this one is my Wi-Fi I'm using this as a wireless kit as you guys can see that it's a Atheros built-in so and this one is my laptops built in Wi-Fi I have disabled it because I don't want to use this shit so so to use the for on your virtual box, you guys need to do just um, first thing is that if you guys are connected to your internet, or also you guys have uh, if you guys have plug in your USB, then I recommend you to unplug it right now. Okay, so just unplug it once like that. As you guys can see that the Wi-Fi has been already gone. Now go to click setting and go to your USB editor over here. We saw USB, not the adapter. Sorry guys. So you want to add like that, okay? So I want to remove this. So your should be plenty same like same as this one. So if you guys will go to the clicking over here and you want to click over this one. So if you got to be clicking over here right now. Your won't be shown right now because you have not uh, plug in your USB. So right now, just plug in. Okay, plug in like that. Now you guys can see that Wi-Fi has come over here, and also you guys can see that there is Wi-Fi. So let me click over here. Okay, so click on the plus sign, and yep, guys, we want to choose the Atheros or your any Alpha card you have. You can use that. As well, make sure to choose your uh, your own <laughs> wireless card. Okay, so mine is Atros 2.0 the LAN. So press on OK. Now you guys are good to go. So just start your virtual machine to check it out. Okay, mine being started right now, and so you guys can see that as well. It's been unplugged or no more Wi-Fi on my Windows. So, also make sure guys, you have been blinking right on your USB right over here as a red light. So you guys can see that, in my case, it's working fine. If you don't have red light here, then it's not working perfect for you guys. So make sure to have the red light blinking over here. Okay, so mine is start to booting right now. It's taking freaking time. Come on, crap. Alright. The USB adapter is going crazy. Okay, so starting right now. Come on, damn. So, as you guys can see, that it's already uh, been right over here. It's on Wi Fi and select your network. Okay, so you guys can see that there is a plenty Wi-Fi like video and source on the Windows as well. So, 
Okay, also you guys wanna check your interface on your terminal, okay? So click on the terminal, like that. I want full screen, and just type the iwconfig for your wireless. So you guys can see that the OSD um, double end zero as the interface of the Wi-Fi. So there we go guys, you have successfully installed your Wi-Fi inside your virtual box. So congratulations once again. And <laughs> Okay guys, so I hope this will work for you and always make um, that Okay, I want to show you once more again that trying to find this guy So whenever you want to use the Wi-Fi over your virtual box make sure to unplug if it is in plug then make sure to unplug and start your um, and then connect once again and then start your operating system okay because it's not gonna work if you're not gonna do like that so i hope this video helps you a lot <laughs> okay so if you love the video or if this helps you very much then please leave a like for this video as well as subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you have any problems i'll reply you guys as soon as possible so okay gotta see you guys on next tutorials bye for now and peace out